What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Um, so before we jump into today's video, uh, I'm sure you realize that my background is different here. I am actually on vacation. So this is my hotel room and um, I am just sitting in my living room and kitchen slash kitchen. Um, but yeah, so I will be filming from, to you from here. Um, I also hope you liked the new intro today. I was trying to shake things up a little bit. Um, I didn't like my other intro as much. So I went on to my uh, video intro making site and I made a new one. So I hope you guys like that. Um, so without further ado, let us get right into today's video. Um, so in today's video, I want to be talking about uh, heat and humidity and how it affects you. Um, as you all know, for all of you who have run in heat and humidity, it affects you a lot. Um, it affects your pace. It affects your, it affects how much you run. Um, and it also affects how you feel. So yeah, um, those are kind of the factors I'm going to be going over in today's video. Um, and a couple others as well. So, all right, guys, and I hope you like the video today. All right, guys, and the first topic I want to touch on in this video is what is humidity? As a lot of you probably know, humidity is the moisture or water level in the air that um, makes you wet on a hot day like this. Um, I'm sure a lot of you do know as you've run in this, humidity definitely, if you have a watch on or you have a phone, you carry it in your hand and you realize that by the end of it, it's not sweat that's on it, it's water. And you realize what is it and you notice that it's humidity. Um, humidity also makes you sweat a lot more when you run in the heat. When you combine heat and humidity together, heat already makes you sweat enough, but humidity with all this water coming down on you, it's practically just, when you come back from the run and you're, I mean, I've come back from vacation runs on this vacation and I'm just, I'm soaked. Like I, there's no part of any of my clothes that are dry. So yeah, humidity definitely greatly affects the way you sweat and greatly affects how wet you get when you come back, when you, when you're on a run and how you notice it when you come back from a run. Um, humidity can also affect your bit, your pace a lot. Um, as I said, when you combine heat and humidity together, heat weighs you down a ton and it just, it burns you. But humidity, um, when you combine them, I mean, it's practically, it's just made to slow your pace down. Um, you can't keep up a quick pace in strong, humid conditions because you won't have the energy at the end to actually finish it. So I've had to slow some runs down in this vacation for that kind of reason. Yeah, so those are kind of, those are kind of the intro to humidity and what it is and how, what it does to you. Um, so yeah, guys, that's probably it for this block and let's move on to the next one. Hey guys, and the second block I want to touch on in this video is what is heat? So as I'm sure a lot of you know, heat is how hot it is outside, how hot the air is outside, and really how hot everything around you is outside. Um, heat greatly affects your running because heat is not a big deal when the sun isn't out. But when the sun comes out and you have the sun, the heat, and the humidity, that's probably the worst combination ever. Um, the sun, you don't want the sun because all it does is the sun just beats down on you like nobody's business. I mean, I've had runs where I'm just, I'm standing in basically direct sunlight with very little shade the entire time. I'm talking long runs. I'm talking even like a six mile run, it stinks when you're st stuck right in the center of the sun because all it's doing is it's putting like 
extreme heat on your back, and especially on this vacation, um, sunburns are the worst in the sun because they all the sun is doing is it's basically just burning them up like again like nobody's business business so yeah um that's how heat can greatly affect your running heat can also greatly affect like humidity how you sweat um heat doesn't affect as much heat doesn't make you sweat as much as humidity does but you can still very well sweat with a lot of a lot of heat um the sun when the sun's out and you have the heat but no humidity that can make you sweat a lot um humidity can make you sweat more but the sun and the heat can make you sweat still a ton if you're directly in it if you're in the shade you're not as likely to sweat but when you're in the direct sun you're probably going to sweat a lot more so yeah that's pretty much how it deeply affects your running um how it deeply affects your daily life. I mean, heat, it's just, he can light up, he can, he can definitely um, heat stuff up, such as the pavement and um, everything you walk on. So that's why I wouldn't suggest walking on with on a, on a hot day with the sun out with no shoes on. Cause it's going to hurt. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the introduction to heat. All right, guys. So let's move on. All right, guys. So in this third block, um, I'm going to be talking about how heat and humidity can affect your running. Uh, I. Previous blocks, you know, I've talked about um, humidity is the moisture in the air and how it can greatly affect your running. Um, same with heat. Heat is how hot it is and around you and how hot things are around you, and it can greatly affect your running as well. Um, but I just want to talk about a, um, a couple specific things that it can do to affect your running and how... I'm sure a lot of you feel this way when you run in heat and humidity. Um, I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of you probably felt this things when you run in heat and humidity. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is sometimes when it's hot and humid out, um, you're not as motivated to get out there and go run. Um, on days when it's hot and humid out, it's a lot harder to get excited about going out to run than days when it's cooler out and less sunny and shadier. Um, your body just doesn't want to run in the heat and humidity, so it's more going to force you to not run in the heat and humidity. Um, but yeah, so you're less, so you don't want to get out there as much, only because you just, it, it's hard to run in the heat and humidity. So when something's hard for you, your body sometimes doesn't want you to get out there. But um, a lot, all of you that have done that, uh, you have pushed yourself, and it's very hard, as you know. But yeah, so that's one way that it can affect your running. Another way is you just get tired faster. I mean, when you're running in heat and humidity and you have sun just beating down on you constantly, um, you, you are more likely to get tired faster than when it's shadier and cloudier and cooler out. Um, that's just natural because your body, your, your body doesn't get as tired when it's cooler out because you're not losing as much, um, you're not losing as much fluid or you're not losing as much fuel. So your body can have a lot more energy and it can keep running a fast pace for a lot longer. When you're running in heat and humidity, that's not the case. It Your body sometimes can't keep up a pace for, that, for super long. And if you try to run a fast pace, you may only be able to keep it up for even less than a mile sometimes. Maybe just a little over if you're lucky, but so, sometimes maybe for the entire run, but normally not. So yeah, you can definitely get tired faster. Another one, is your pace. As I have mentioned in previous blocks in this video, 
your pace definitely slows down as hum- heat as you run in heat and humidity. Um, for those of you whose pace speeds up, good for you. That does not happen to me. I do not have a pace that speeds up when I run in heat and humidity. It's a lot harder for me. So good for you if your pace speeds up. But I'm sure for a lot of you, including me, um, your you just, your your pace has to slow down, or you're not going to make it through the entire run. If you try to run a fast pace, and the heat and humidity is just sucking more out of you every single time, um, you each mile, well, it's just going to make it harder and harder and harder as the miles progress to keep up a fast pace. So that's why you just have to adjust your pace sometimes to make it a little slightly slower in heat and humidity, and then you can make it faster when it's cloudier and shadier and cooler out. So, yeah, that's another one. Um, How you feel is another one as well. Um, When when you're hot and it's humid out, you tend to feel, again, a lot more tired. But... um, you also tend to feel like you're basically just breaking down. Um, I get that feeling sometimes when I feel like I just like I can't run anymore and I just like have to stop. Um, it's a feeling that some people get. It's because basically you're just worn out from running in the heat and humidity that it's just so hard to keep it up that sometimes I actually do just have to stop because of it because it's so hard to keep it up. So yeah um it greatly affects how you feel and yeah that's pretty much it for how you feel um your mood i discuss this a lot in videos like this um your mood can deeply get affected by the heat and humidity um when you when i first started running in the heat and humidity it's not as bad but as we progress and as i get more and more tired my mood starts to change and I hardly can talk anymore. Um, whereas at the beginning of the run, I had all the energy in the world to talk, but now I can hardly do it at all. So it just, it gets hard as you try to progress through the runs. It gets much, much harder. And your mood definitely changes from the beginning to the end, especially in hot days. Um, your mood is... My mood is um, definitely a lot less um, excited and happy. It's more of like a grouchy type mood. So yeah, that's how it deeply affects your mood. Um, Breathing. It deeply affects your... Heat and humidity can also deeply affect your breathing. Um, Mostly because when you're you're tired at the end of a run and you just want to make it thick and you just want to make it through or maybe even you're in the middle of a run, um, your breathing starts to get a lot heavier. And it doesn't, it's not light breathing anymore. For me, I get a lot heavier when I'm much more tired. My breathing just, um, it increases and I can, and I can see it increase. Like I can feel it increase on me. Um, so, and it's hard to get it back to control once it increases that way. So I definitely get some problems with my breathing and heat and humidity, but, um, yeah, so those are probably, um, that's it for breathing. All right, guys, so that's probably going to be it for this block, and let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, so this last and final block I want to talk about is how you force through and run through heat and humidity. Um, As I've said in even the block before this, um, slowing your pace down is a great way. um, And just trying to stay in the... So trying to stay in the shade is a big one as well. Um, When you run, getting through heat and humidity, it's basically all about staying in shade. especially in the heat and humidity. I mean, when you stay in shade, you're a lot cooler and your body isn't as hot. So when you're very hot, um, and even in a race sometimes, 
try to stay in the shade as much as possible because it's going to make you feel a lot better than if you stand in the direct sun or you run the direct sun. Um, another way to get through is just, um, so for me, it's, instead of tracking my runs in miles, I actually track my runs in kilometers. So sometimes it's actually easier for me to say to myself, um, you only have one K to go opposed to a mile to go. Um, you're, it tricks your brain and it also can trick your brain into thinking you're actually going farther. If say you go 10 K, sometimes your mind will think, oh, you went 10 miles. So you just ran pretty far. Um, whereas reality, you only ran six miles, so you ran the same as if you were tracking it six miles, but it, it makes you feel like you're going a lot farther. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, I think that's probably it for this block. Um, again, it was, this is, this was a super short block, but I can't really think of much else to say here. So yeah, that's probably it for this block. All right, guys. So that's probably gonna wrap it up for today's video. Um, I hope you like it. Again, uh, I'm sorry I didn't post earlier this week. Um, it was just really hard for me to get get on my computer and actually post with the vacation being pretty chaotic and we were pretty much just out and about all day and I. We wouldn't get back to the room till really late. So, and then once we get back to the room, it was pretty much time for bed. So, yeah, I apologize for that. And I will, I hope you stick around for today's quote. I hope you like it. And um, I have to still see what it's going to be. I have to choose it, but I hope you guys like it. So, yeah, guys, um, that's probably it for today's video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.